Hi! <laughs> Quick impromptu video, but might as well document this. Okay. <laughs> a couple of days ago, during Orchid Chore's diary, I was going through cleaning up the pseudobulbs as an Orchid Chore because, you know, tidy orchids, pretty orchids. And, <laughs> oops, on that rack back there, somewhere in there, is a golden zelle. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the last time these secateurs touched an orchid was on that one. And lo and behold, we discovered Fusarium. The orchid is fine. She's still doing well. Nothing to report. It's not like she's declining. Seems like she can live with it. Meanwhile, I can't. <laughs> it's been far too long. I need to address more orchids and I am extremely still paranoid about have I sterilized my secateurs enough that I'm now comfortable to use them again. So I want to put this out there. This is not a sterilization video on how to sterilize after Fusarium. This video is mainly about aesthetics, changing the mindset, getting a better visual of my secateurs and the state and the lack of the state thereof <laughs> because I'm going to be cleaning them with vinegar. Now, many, many times when our secateurs get this rusty, there's all this stuff that you can use to clean them up, take them apart, etc. I don't do that, but when it's come to this, I've got a great excuse and I wanted to document that for you, with you, if you're interested. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And I just hope that the transmitter wasn't too close to the mic because I'm moving around a lot and there should be no crackling. I do apologize if that happened. Anyway, back to cleaning secateurs. Get them to somewhat look presentable again. And that is with just plain vinegar, white vinegar. Now I have a cleaning kind of vinegar that I use in my kitchen to get rid of calcium deposits and all that stuff that, you know, develops in the kettles and anywhere else where the hard water that I have creates horrible water stains. And normally this shouldn't take this long, but seeing as I'm doing it one-handed, the squeezing is a little bit <laughs> hard. So I'll be right back when that thing is full. Mmm, vinegar during the summer. I can tell you I'm in the mood for a salad right now. Okay, so the purpose here once again is to clean up my secateurs, remove as much rust as possible by way of plain vinegar. It is not to sterilize, but what I need to do now, and if you're interested in doing that with all your tools, not just gardening tools, but any tools that have rusted and you think, yeah, no, I'm just gonna buy a new pair. Maybe you would like to try and give this a go. White vinegar, submerge, the rusted area all the way into the vinegar and now we wait 24 hours and see if there's been a difference or at least if I can feel any better <laughs> so that I can clean up some more orchids. It is high noon for them. I'll see you in 24 hours. Sleep well, have a nice day and yeah, <laughs> the powers of editing. Ooh, isn't this gross? 24 hours later, <laughs> we may not get clean, spanking, shiny, looking like new secateurs, but certainly there has to be some improvement. This is still the vinegar, <laughs> and you can see how some gunk has deposited at the bottom. Some of that rust, yeah, that's already come off. Isn't that cool? And you can also see how the fumes, I don't know how else to describe it, of the vinegar, pushed some of the residue up against the plastic container. See that? Okay, next step, let's get to it. It's gonna get disgusting. <laughs> right, ideally, look at that. Ideally, you want to have one of those iron little toothbrush thingies and I don't have that but that would be ideal. You can see that whether vinegar didn't reach, we still have rusty things, but it's gonna be good enough for our purposes. So I don't have that kind of a brush. I have an aluminum, like a scrubby pad for the kitchen, which is now obviously not going to be used for the kitchen anymore, but at least I've got something that is very abrasive that I can take the rust off and somewhat scrub it away. And this is where, you know, the toothbrush would be so much more ideal. And I'm just using plain water. I don't want to use anything with soap in it because clearly I don't want to get squeaky, squeaky joints into my secateurs. I just want to get the rust off as best as possible. And also just to show you, it can be done cheaply 
and there will be no need, see how, wow, even with my silly little toothbrush here, see how easy those rusty bits that touched the vinegar are coming off. Yeah, I just, you know, I just want to get what I can off with what I've got available to me cheaply, easily, and not have to invest in a new pair of snips, and then hopefully mentally also be ready to attack some orchids that need attacking and get rid of how I feel about my recent fossarium discovery. <laughs> so this is not only just useful for the snips or the secateurs or any, any tool that you might have that doesn't quite look the part anymore, it's also very, very useful psychologically. <laughs> but look at that. Very, very happy with the result. Except now I can toss my toothbrush. And now the person that is inside of me that is a little bit OCD says, why didn't you soak them deeper down into the vinegar? Because now you see I could have gotten all of that off but you know what? That little person inside of me who is a little bit OCD can just be quiet because as far as I'm concerned, mission accomplished. Okay, we have restored at least the visual aspect of our secateurs or anything else that might be rusty. And then we just dry them off with a kitchen towel or a rag or whatever is handy that can be easily, easily binned because you will get some nasty onto whatever you're using. Make sure it's old, not brand new, you know, just so that you're not losing your material while you're cleaning something else, restoring it and destroying something else. And after that, I'm just taking off the excess water from my little toothbrush here, dab that onto my kitchen towel and then boil it. doesn't take much because the vinegar will also have taken off any of the grease that was within the joints and you know squeaky clean yes but squeaky sounding no we don't want to be going squeak 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 every time we open and close them and that's all there is to it 24 hours later result vinegar cheap and very, very useful. Perfect. So I hope that this was helpful. And if you think that you have gotten something out of this video, or you might know somebody who could benefit from something like this, instead of always buying new tools, then please, please go ahead and like the video. It helps it out and it gets it out to more people. YouTube happens to like seeing likes or dislikes. So maybe with our efforts, we can help more people. <laughs> I appreciate the time you watched. Thank you so very, very much. Hope you're having a beautiful day and that it stays that way. However, on one condition that you stay safe, please take care. Bye.